How's it going? This is Christian Espinosa with Alpine Security. In this video, we'll cover how to find a cybersecurity job or how to get a job in cybersecurity is really what we're talking about. So we'll go, we'll go over three main things. First is what certifications are in demand. So how do you figure out what cybersecurity certifications are in demand? Because then you can focus your attention on getting those. We'll cover what employers are hiring for those certifications. So once you figure out what's in demand, you want to figure out what employers are hiring for those. And then finally, the third part will cover what skills do you need to be successful in your job hunting endeavor? You know, how do you get hired? And we'll cover those skills on the third point. So first off, what certifications are in demand? So we can use this tool here. It's pretty useful. It's called cyberseek.org. It's a website. And what's cool about it here is you can go to cyberseek.org. I'll put this link beneath the video. Go over here to your interactive map. And this will show you a map of supply and demand, a heat map, for cybersecurity certifications in the United States. Right now, we're looking at the entire national level, as we see right here. And what's interesting about this is we have a total for job openings, according to CyberSeek, 313,735 cybersecurity job openings in the United States. We have down here the next number, 715,715, it's kind of interesting, 715, 715, total employed cybersecurity people in the workforce. So uh, they do this ratio that shows the number of people currently employed, versus the number of openings as well. And that's kind of useful to figure out what certification or certifications are in most demand. So let's scroll down here. And this is where the useful information is over here. So if you're looking at what certifications to get, of course, it depends on where you are in your career. But if you're trying to get into cybersecurity, the Security Plus is a good one to start with. It has a pretty high ratio, however, but there's still 36,000 almost job openings for Security Plus. Uh, for CISSP, there's about 77,492 openings, and there's about 76,000 people that are already employed as a CISSP, but the ratio is a lot lower there because there's more openings than currently employed people, uh, which is how they come up with this ratio. And you can see uh, it's even lower for CISM. There's currently... 29,905 openings, but only roughly 14,000 people employed as a CISM. So again, it depends on where you are with your uh, career progression. Uh, you can't just go straight to CISSP, obviously, if you have no experience. But you can certainly start with CompTIA Security Plus. So let's scroll up here. And one of the cool things about this is we're looking at it right now from a national level. But you probably don't want to just work wherever Maybe you do, maybe you're a nomad and just want to move, and that's fine. But you can narrow it down to your specific state or metropolitan area. Right now, I can go click on a state, and it will show me the, the number of openings for, let's say, I live in, um, let's say, Wyoming. There's only 172 openings in Wyoming. Over here, West Virginia, 872. Arkansas, which is where I'm from, there's only 893 openings. So if you're looking at making a move, you might want to consider... Uh, what state you move to as well from a perspective of a career in cybersecurity. Uh, let's use an example with a metropolitan area. So I'm going to click on metro areas and I'm going to zoom in here to St. Louis, which is where Alpine Security is located. Click on that. And now our perspective changes down here to the St. Louis uh, area, which includes part of Missouri and part of Illinois. It's the greater St. Louis area. And since we're in St. Louis, we can get an idea of how many employers out there, uh, or how many openings there are, I should say, for Security Plus. It looks like there's 803 openings in the St. Louis area that are asking for the Security Plus certification. There is almost 1,100 asking for the CISSP. So if I did a combo of got Security Plus and got the CISSP, I would almost for sure get hired. Uh, there's also a lot of people asking for CISA, CISA, uh, which is an auditing certification, so I could look at that certification as well. But this gives you an idea of how, what certifications are in most demand, and typically Security Plus and CISSP are two of the ones that are in the most demand. 
as well as GIAC and CISA. You, you will see there's, you know, for Certified Information Privacy Professional, CIPP, there's only 14 openings. So if you want to maximize your opportunity, you probably shouldn't like spend a lot of time on that certification. You should probably spend time on a certification that has more openings, regardless of the ratio, because that means there's more employers and more people looking for for that certification um, in their organization. Out of these numbers right here, 803, Security Plus, uh, 1098 for CISSP. So those are, and then we have 672 here for CISA. But the, the highest two, and this is pretty much always when you look at this, are CISSP and Security Plus. These are the two that are in most demand. So you should get certified in those. Now, once you get certified in those, uh, the next step is to figure out, if we go back here to our agenda, what employers are hiring for these certifications. So the one of the best places to go is indeed.com. So once you go to indeed.com, you can do a search here for the certification and you can narrow it down to your particular metro area or state or zip code. For instance, if I want to figure out how many, uh, which organizations I should say are hiring for CISSPs, I can type in CISSP. I can type in uh, my zip code. I'll type in Alpine Security zip code here and find jobs. And this information is used um, as part of the source information for CyberSeq, so they're sort of related. But you see here, we've got 147 jobs, which is a little bit different than what we had over here for CyberSeq. Uh, CyberSeq said so there's 1,098 openings, but there's other job sites besides Indeed, obviously. But this will show you all the organizations that are looking for CISSPs. And you can scroll down, they kind of give a salary range, and you know, KPMG is looking for a pen tester. And you can click on it and it'll show you uh, what certifications are looking for right here, CISSP, but they're looking for quite a few of them. Obviously it's a pen testing position. Let's go back and we can look at another one, but this gives you an idea of which companies are hiring for that particular certification that you're uh, going to pursue. And it's worth doing these things before you decide which certification to get. You really can't go wrong with Security Plus and CISSP, uh, but as I mentioned, if you're going to uh, get the CIPP uh, you're probably not going to have much luck getting a job or your opportunity, your, your choices will be limited. Let's search for that. So we see seven jobs for CIPP. So you can certainly get one of these jobs, but again, you're limiting the number of companies you can go interview with and possibly get a job with. So again, stick with CISSP and Security Plus. So you can also type in Security Plus and it will show you the jobs that tie into Security Plus, but just keep in mind, uh, if you just type Security Plus, it will also show you jobs that have the word security in them. So you'll see a lot of jobs that say security guard, because uh, it has an opening here of 3,734. So what you wanna do to narrow it down a bit is type in CompTIA in front of that and just put security there. So CompTIA security is a little more accurate than just typing Security Plus. I know it seems a little bit uh, counterintuitive, but that's the way it is. So now we have 60 jobs and you can see these here. Uh, let's just pick this one. Sandoval Technology Solutions. We scroll down. It looks like they have a contract with the military base or doing Air Force operations, blah, blah, blah. Cyber protection teams. Uh, and you scroll down here. We see Sec Plus right there listed. So they want you to have a, a Security Plus certification. And they also have CISSP listed. So as I mentioned, uh, they have a few other ones listed as well. So that's a quick way to find jobs in Indeed.com. So we've gone over so far a couple things. Uh, we've gone over what certifications are in demand and then what employers are hiring for those certifications. Uh, we looked at Indeed. Indeed is one source. There's lots of other ones out there, but Indeed is one of the, the better ones from my experience. The, the third thing there is what skills do you need? So now we've, we, we've got the certification we've found some employers we're applying for the job so what skills do you need well first off if you're going to apply for the job you need to have a great resume make sure there's no typos in your resume make sure your resume is accurate and make sure that you're not lying on your resume don't make up a bunch of stuff and make make it um make your experience don't just say i used to do vulnerability assessments make it quantifiable 
uh, and results oriented if you can. So say I did vulnerability assessments using this tool and I did this many and this is what we did with the findings. You're giving the organization a little more information than just I did vulnerability assessments, which is very vague. So on your resume, make sure you're, you, you take the time to do a good resume. Uh, as an employer, if I see a resume that looks like it's like thrown together, that to me is an indication that that person is probably not gonna do a good job with any work I throw towards them. Because if they're trying to get a job and this is the sample of their work they, they present to me, and it uh, hasn't been quality checked, it's got spelling errors, uh, typos, formatting errors, etc. That means that employer, that employee is probably gonna make those same mistakes on the job. So I will automatically like toss that resume. So make sure you go over your resume with a fine tooth comb, have somebody else review it because it's often hard for you to see the mistakes yourself on your own resume. Uh, the other thing is to have good interviewing skills make sure you know your resume inside and out but also and that's the first bullet there research the company you're going to interview with they may ask you some questions about how you fit into their core values they may ask you questions about your background you know how you handle difficult situations how you handle um, being behind on a project how you deal with conflict and also as i mentioned again in the first one make sure you research the company you're interviewing with one of the questions uh, we like to ask people is like, why are you here in front of us today? Like, what are you hoping to get out of this arrangement, this job, et cetera? What are your career ambitions and why did you choose us? If, if the candidate simply says, I want a job, uh, or I, they don't know anything about the company they're interviewing with, that's a big red flag as well. Again, they didn't take the time to do some research. So you have to, you have to keep it in mind from the perspective of the employer how you show up for the interview, which is where you're supposed to be on your best behavior. If there's red flags going off in there, there are certainly gonna be red flags if we hire you. So make sure you show up dressed appropriately, you have a great resume, you practice some interviewing skills, and you've done some research on the company. There's plenty of resources out there uh, on how to write a great resume, how to interview, and et cetera. So just in recap, we covered what certifications are in demand? We went to cyberseek.org. I'll put the link beneath the video. We uh, talked about Indeed a little bit to figure out which employers are hiring people with those certifications. And we went over a few of the skills you need to you need to have and master really to maximize the potential of you getting a job in cybersecurity. If you're nervous about interviews, have a friend of yours or uh, your spouse or significant other do a mock interview with you. It's much better to uh, pr practice with someone else than try to practice in front of a, a potential employer. Hopefully you liked this video. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Uh, also subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna get certified, you can check out our cybersecurity training. We offer training on Security Plus and CISSP and a bunch of other things as well. Best of luck, talk to you later.